In this video, we're talking about aspect ratios. More specifically, we will talk about some of the most used aspect ratios, how you can use them to your videos correctly, and what values you need to type in your projects or sequences to create a video in that aspect ratio. But what is an aspect ratio? Aspect ratio is basically the frame size that you're shooting your video. Have you ever noticed uh, the black bars on top and bottom? of the screen, often called as cinematic bars, or maybe on an older movie, the black bars on the left and right of the screen. That is called an aspect ratio. Now, the mathematically answer is that an aspect ratio is defined as the ratio of width to height of an image. A 4 by 3 aspect ratio means that for every 4 inches of width in an image, you will have 3 inches of height. In mathematical terms, that comes out to the screen being 33% wider than it is high. A 16 by 9 aspect ratio means that for every 16 inches of width in an image, you will have 9 inches of height. Unlike the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio is 78% wider than height. So let's begin with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. 16 by 9 is the standard for everything. Widescreen DVDs are 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080 HD video is 16 by 9, even a 4K Ultra HD is a 16 by 9 format. That is a standard for all film and digital media. So whenever you pick up your camera, your cell phone, your video camera, whatever it is, it is shooting a 16 by 9 format. Also, the video you're just watching right now is set to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you want your video to have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you will have to use the values that you see right here for 1080 and for 4K videos. Now, if we make it a little bit wider, we are getting an 18 by 9 aspect ratio or 2 to 1 as is most often called. So if you want your video to have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, these are the values that you have to use. This is the aspect ratio that newer phones and even some computer screens use. Also, one thing that I like about this aspect ratio for YouTube is that it creates a small letterbox on top and bottom when you see the video on a 16 by 9 screen that creates space for the title of the video and the timeline at the bottom. If we get it even wider, we will get a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. This is the aspect ratio that gives us just a little bit more cinematic feel to our videos. Here are the values to use the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio for your project. But let's jump now a little bit to the past and check out the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. Back in the day when movies were shot on film, most movies had the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. That's why many of the old TVs looked like boxes, because they had an aspect ratio of 4.3. So it was essentially shot in kind of a square, so it could fit on the square of a film that was being fed into the camera. So, no widescreen, just a kind of a box. This aspect ratio is great if you're planning to use any Super 8 film effect look or VHS look into your videos. You will give this vintage feel a more complete look and these are the values that you will have to use. Next, we have the 4x5 aspect ratio and these are the values you have to type in to use it. The 4x5 is perfect for Instagram feed posts as it will cover more space as the user scrolls down in the feed. So the video will get more attention to your viewer's eyes. Now, if we revert the 16x9 to a more vertical point of view, we get the 9x16 and this is the standard aspect ratio of vertical videos. This aspect ratio is perfect for Instagram, Facebook and YouTube stories, TikTok, IGTV and also is the ratio you get when you shoot with your mobile phone vertical. These are the values that you have to use to get the 9x16. One important tip for this aspect ratio coming from the master of vertical filmmaking, Jesse Driftwood, is to shoot with your camera or cell phone in a vertical mode to avoid losing a ton of information from cropping your videos later in post. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and also if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're into this kind of stuff and ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, that was the first video of 2020, Happy New Year to all, I'm Emilio Takas and I will see you in the next video.